I see a Chrome window with a agenda. Great. So let's start then. Uh, hi, everybody. Um, uh, Jeremy and Tim, <laughs> welcome to the December 9, 2020 edition of the UFC meeting. We are now officially more than one year old. Uh, we have been oh, more than a year with this. So, uh, yeah, let's get uh, right into it. So, first of all, um, let's get some new UX updates. It's been a while since we, got, we didn't have a few of those. So, Tim and I have, uh, we got a new uh, icon infrastructure merge created on by Tim uh, into Jenkins Core. So, so sorry, that we what, can start with. What, what code some, merged? Um, some infra uh, Java infrastructure to, in, to improve iconography into Jenkins. Okay. We re the team reduced some technical debt there was. So, and now we can properly iterate into to, to work on icons. So I've been in touch with Amber Rupert, uh, one of the lead designer uh, on the cloud side for this for this project. And she's going to provide me with updated and animated versions of the icons, um, of SVG icons for the good status uh, indicators. And so that we can have those and at least do a performance test or a proof of concept with those uh, rather soon. So we, we're working on it, she's working on it, we're working on it, and hopefully, as soon as I can, I will uh, hand them off to you, team, so you can, we can try it on your draft PR. Um, maybe we can put a link to the draft PR here. Um, sure. You can drop it in the chat or straight into the notes, then I'll... Uh... Yeah. Uh, okay. So, um, and that's it for the build status icons. We need to do, a, as James North suggested last week, we need to do a load test with all the SVG animations. So the way we can do SVG animations for the in-progress status icons is going to be a bit tough. Um, may, maybe a bit tough on HTML on, on, on performance. We, we need to actually know what's going on there. Right. Um, so any mentioned any uh, and uh, also uh, to find out about this topic, I would like uh, Tim and I have been identified that it's a bit, uh, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, Tim, but it's a bit crazy right now. Jenkins has six in progress icon, uh, items for in progress status based on the so maybe we can that's something we can revisit. Uh, yeah, I, I was just looking at uh, a page. What is it like? There's a page in Jenkins IO that shows you all of them. And yeah, I was looking at them and thinking, yeah. oh, this is because Yeah, the reason is that it uses in Jenkins the same icon is used to show the status of last build plus the in progress indicator. So ideally, maybe we can do some feature work into integrating those two. Maybe we can add a last build column. But I, I mean, that would be for after we do some big iconography work. And uh, do you agree with this team? Because I... Yep. Yep. OK. So this is for the status indicators. And now let's talk about scope for the March release. Uh, here, just uh, we probably, this is going to be, uh, I think, the, in the end, it's going to be how much we can get into the PR. But I think the real, in the more realistic way, I think it would be to create a first iteration with build status indicators and uh, and weather icons, because I think the other icons are too much, and it can be a bit jarring. We did sort of mention this last uh, last meeting, so if there was no further discussion or maybe we don't have more information. Um, yeah, here's the link to the. Uh... Jenkins IO page. Yeah. yeah, I think the only thing new from the last one was that I got that draft PR working with things like the slash manage page, and and it, it already worked on the um, icons for the weather and all and the build status. That all just worked. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, it was just. I had to make some ch changes to manage because it was missing some of the compatibility ports that they um had been added elsewhere already. Can you can you link the link the PR so I can open it in the TV? Yeah.
There you go. Okay. Jeremy, the realization that something case you want to put it on the agenda. So this is the PR. Did you update the screenshots? Were you able to update the screenshots? So. No, I haven't updated the screenshots. Um, I think I, I undid the group one as that group one was a black one, which wasn't wasn't themable. Um, mm -hmm. I think yeah. the rest I might have left the same. I'm not sure. I, think you, I mean, you made some changes. I haven't re-screenshotted some stuff. Yeah, I, yeah, I did make some changes here. So basically, we're working on this. <laughs> we'll see what we managed to get done. Um, but uh, we, try, we try to get as much potential as something. Is it, uh, so can we move on to the next uh, step? Or do you want to add anything else, Tim? OK, tables to divs. Um, Let's look over the status of this. These are the, there are many in progress items. There are not so many, there are some of them that are, I think are actually in progress but are not marked as in progress. These are the ones we created. And these are the tickets reported by the community. We have many, many fixes in review. Thank you, most people you think, thank you. And another not so, other ones not so much. Um, but yeah, so, but we are getting there. <laughs> and on, topic, on, on this topic, I thought maybe we could, for the March release, for the next LTS, I think what we could, we could use having um, a, an entry in the documentation page, or at least a blog post that would list plugins with known issues. So basically, if you have these plugins, you will have issues upgrading, a list of plugins. And if you have these plugins, you need to have these the, this, uh, minimum versions. And that is, for example, branch API 2.6.3. Uh, yeah, what well, a list of plugins and, uh, and the versions that are compatible so that we can help people. And that's documented somewhere. So, yeah, yeah. I definitely agree. It's probably worth, well, I don't know, because a lot of that's just you before upgrading to the next LTS, you need to update all your plugins. We could certainly list ones that had issues, but there's also a whole bunch of um, the spring security upgrade and extra upgrade also requires that a lot of plugins be updated um, for it to work. So I'm not sure if there's any huge benefit in listing exact fixed versions. Um, yeah. Possibly it's worth an entry of update your plugins, but I think the list is just going to be so long that it's just you need to um, update all your plugins. Um, ideally, we will have fixed most of the plugins by the time the next LTS is out. Um, so I wouldn't think too much about it yet. Um, if there are still ones outstanding, we should publish a list of plugins um, that don't have fixes. And if there is pull requests open, then we can link to pre-release versions that can be used. Yeah, that can be a good idea. So, um, but there will, there will also be the case that there can be a bit of a chicken and egg problem. For example, branch API update, which huge plugin, huge plugin with this, um, causes the UI to break noticeably uh, <laughs> to say something. But the version, the, the version with the fixes is not compatible with the previous LTS, right? With the 263 line. Yeah. So it can be a case of um, you need to upgrade the plugins, then upgrade Jenkins, and then upgrade the plugins again. Yeah. It's the same case, though, with um, Spring Security, I think, too. Mm -hmm. A little yeah. bit. I think, I think most of the Spring Security stuff got staged in a way which published the last compatible version. But then you'll find that they'll, there's one there's cases where um, as soon as you upgrade, there'll be, there'll be ver new versions for it available. Mm -hmm. so, I see. Yeah, but probably it should, it should go into the upgrade notes that upgrade all plugins before you upgrade, upgrade, upgrade all plugins again. Yeah. Well, I think that's inevitable. <laughs> so, are, are these plugins backwards compatible? So, somebody can go in, upgrade all their plugins before they do the actual upgrade? Or Most of them, are. them Some of them are too yeah. complicated. And some of the maintainers just move them just because they don't want to have to deal right. with it. So we recommend what? So step one, upgrade all plugins. Yeah, step two, then, upgrade. Well, yeah. 
it's a whole it's a whole upgrade then, guide. Uh, so like, I wouldn't worry too no, much about it now. Upgrade all plugins again. Yeah. We, yeah, we can we can ask Mark wait uh, to for whether maybe he has. But yeah, we should definitely start alerting the community earlier, right? I mean, it's probably good that they hear this message twice rather than just, you know, in yeah. some small letters in our release notes, you know? Well, it, it's, yeah. it goes into the LTS upgrade notes or upgrade guide. Um, it's, it's quite standard for anything where there's any breaking or changes where people might have to make changes. Um, but I think it's, it's too far away to be concerned about it right now. It's like okay. three and a half months and in that time, I would hope three and a half can. months. I it's thought it was like the. March, isn't it? I thought it's it was like. February. Well, it's February. March, but it's probably going to be end of February. So, but yeah, three and a half months. Yeah, it's like two and a half months then. Yeah. 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 So yeah. There's still okay. some time, but not too much. Okay. Yeah, it's yeah, enough it's time to hopefully get a number of them fixed, and then we don't have it's less to be published. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah, Jenkins. Uh, so to move on to another topic, to last topic. So um, based on James North's comments last week, he opened a thread on the main list. Uh, I will try to fish later, pick it out and put it on the agenda regarding whether I'm uh, proposing to bump the major Jenkins major version. I wanted to maybe reflect on that mail list thread because maybe Tim, I'm, I'm dumping this on you because <laughs> uh, I think there was uh, not there was no consensus to bump it to major version, but there was more merely consensus that we should change the version format to more of a yearly month year month uh, number or something like that. Can you can you please elaborate a bit on this, Tim? Yeah, I've been monitoring it, um, just waiting for more consensus. Is there a link to the mailing list thing that I can just drop in this agenda? Um, yes, yes, I, I will drop yeah. it after. Yeah, the main the problem. problem with the monthly model is how does the LTS version fit into that? Um, because it's not, um, because in a, the LTS version is based off a cut of a weekly version. Um, so you, you do like 2020, 12, um, but it's not actually released till 2021, two, two. which version do you pick? Um, things like uh, that. I think we would need the special, uh, especially naming for LTS versions. We don't need to call them animals like you want to, but we need to do some. Yeah, and it's also, does anyone have a, I mean, is there a large enough benefit in changing? Um, I don't know. I mean, so yeah, it's looking into how other products do it as well. The main thing is make version numbers as meaningless as possible, but also enough that you can reproduce a bug. Um. Yeah, because right now I think they are indeed a bit meaningless in my opinion. Because I mean, yeah, bumping to a version three, that when you go from a two hundred sixty something minor, mm. it's it's a bit. Yeah, it's just my, it's my a personal bit. opinion is I find the versions very hard to remember what's what. I mean, I think if we went for more of a, I don't know, three o four o. It's, it's a little bit, you know, when you, once you get past 263, you know, it, it's hard to, at least it gets harder for me to remember. I mean, our, our versions start to look like IP addresses rather than, you know. Especially because it did happen this year that we chose a version, a bit of a version, I don't know if it was later or sooner, because it would be too similar at the number. It would be confused with a previous version. We had a problem in the Windows installer where our version number was too high for the minor version. You could only get up to 256 or something. Right. Oh, that's fine. <laughs> there was another place you could you could have a display name apparently, 
and I think we just had we just hit reset on the we, we basically bumped it down another version I think it's like two one something in the in the thing and then we put the Jenkins version in the display name yeah I guess eight bits for the version <laughs> yeah exactly okay. so the consensus on this is that we need more information right so yeah oh try to take a look at it soon um okay because uh, i think we uh, so i think all like you know it was all like we mentioned that maybe we should freeze this until i mean the new board and release officer you know, are instated yeah probably Which makes sense to me we want to discuss it with a wider audience as well yeah i mean it's on the mailing list but very Okay. Yeah, the board meeting topic just to discuss it. Mm. Okay, so I we ran out of topics. <laughs> is there anything else? Any anyone want to? Is there anything? Any other item somebody wants to raise that's not on the agenda? Mm. Is there any core issues that we need to triage from tables to divs? I don't think so. Um, there are no new ones that I found. Um, I did look up into this one. This one is really concerning to me. Uh, I did I, I did look further into it. Basically, drag and drop is a bit broken. So sometimes it seems it, it drag and drop is broken only when there are uh, whenever you have a list uh, on the drag and drop list. There's something that breaks. Then drag and drop breaks. But it because I sometimes I, it got fixed whenever I, I upgrade the plugins, the drag and drop, I got it working. So other times not. So the, uh, I have in my I have this in my in my eye to I, I'm going to take a look at this probably this later this month. So I, I will I will spend some time diagnosing this. But we will probably want to replace the drag and drop infrastructure for the next LTS. But we will also break some plugins again. But, Okay. Yeah. I kind of also wonder how much drag and drop is actually used. I wanted to create to add some arrows to bump stuff up and down because to be honest, it's really even if you get to work somehow, it's not a good experience to drag something that's taller than your screen. No, I don't think it'd be dragging more than like a line. Like it's the sort of thing I could say if you're building a pipeline in a visual UI. And you're like reordering steps, maybe, but I just can't see reordering a config page. Just does not seem sane. Yeah, because for example, I I have found the case that when working on a, I'm not on a small screen either. You can get or blocks, yeah. for example, when configuring when adding and when configuring uh, JDKs. Yeah. On the global tool configuration page. You can you can easily have stuff that uh, have blocks that are taller than your screen. That are out of screen. Why why you would need to reorder that? Well, now you can. So. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, one fix is just to make some stuff not. I think you should. I think there should be flags already, which means that you can't you can't reorder them. I don't see. Yeah, you. but but for example, on build steps, there are build steps that that are just big. Yeah. Lots of parameters, for example, build the step that can publish to somewhere and you will, uh, can input credentials, oh, yeah. environment like variables. Plots. It's, it's yeah. like two pages of a config page. Yeah, definitely. So I, I think one, we should, uh, we should uh, I, I, I'll try to fix drag and drop, of course, but then maybe we can also improve it by adding small arrows up and down next to the item so that you can actually click them. Yeah. Uh, maybe run them up and down. I think that would be a good idea. Sounds good. Cool. Okay. Okay. So I think this is it, right? I think we have covered all items. This has been a short one. Just a know. quick question. Um, the next meeting is on the 23rd of December. I'm not sure whether we should cancel it or let it, I'm not sure whether I'm going to be available. I'm not sure whether you're going to be available, Felix, or should we just preemptively cancel it? Should we just postpone it until January? Just cancel it because there's one other one in two weeks. 
Yeah, the, I mean, exactly. Because the next one would be the 30th of de December, which is also one of those dead days, you know, where... Yeah. I'm, I'm, I mean, off, I'm off work by then. I don't have any... I don't have any plans from the 21st to the 24th. don't know what I'm doing then, but I might do stuff. I so. think I'm... I don't know what I'm doing yet. I'm, I'm going to take probably from the 20th. I, don't, I might be there. I might not be. I mean, we could just do it, and if it's a very short meeting, it's a short meeting. Yeah, I, I think I think we should cancel the. Yeah, we should talk about the twenty third. Uh, maybe we can discuss it a few days before on the in the YouTube channel. Oh, it right. be interesting. If nobody wants, to, if nobody wants to join, we can do an async uh, update on the YouTube channel. Yeah, yeah. Okay, that's. And same for. We'll leave it open for now, then. Yeah. Let's all remember to clarify this in two weeks. <laughs> okay. Uh, might be my last meeting of the year, so <laughs> I'm not sure what I'll be there. Okay. Well, have a great rest of your week, weekend. Uh, yeah. Same. You too. Bye bye. Bye. Yeah.